Hey, hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to some more Pokemon action. I'm your host Ryan and today we are continuing with this team for three more episodes. Oh, I'm so tired. Um, <laughs> getting tired of talking, but that's okay. Um, we'll see what happens here. Okay, so it looks like we've got an interesting team here. We've got Agron, Golur, Blissey, which I don't actually have anything to hit super effectively with, Gengar, and Charizard, and Blaziken. Um, so I think again, I like my Jellicent lead. Um, I'm gonna go with Altair. No, mm, I'm gonna go Marowak. Um, mm, I'm gonna bring Altaria, which I don't really want to, but I don't really have much of a choice. And I think I'll bring Metagross. I don't see any reason to bring Rotom, to be honest. We'll see how this goes. This is an interesting team that I honestly don't have much for. Um, I don't know why I'm not running Hammer Arm on Metagross. That's kind of interesting. A fighting type is pretty pretty important. Whatever. Yeah, fighting type is really important, especially in this meta with Kangaskhan. I don't know why I'm not running a single fighting type. Um, but he's going to start off with Blaziken and Gengar, which I absolutely love, because that, that's actually a really good lead for me. Um, I'm going to go for Trick Room and Rock Slide. Is he, uh, the Blaziken's going to protect. I mean, all Blaziken's protect first turn. It's just the most common thing. I don't know why people don't just develop a new strategy like, okay, you know, my Blaziken started, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to go for a Flare Blitz instead. Um, they all just tend to protect on the first turn. Is it bad for me to think that and just assume that? Eh, not really. I don't think so. See, it, it's every turn, I don't get it. It's just, it's like clockwork. So he's gonna go for hidden power. What? Ice, I'm guessing? Or water, maybe? It wasn't even super effective! I don't understand! What, what are you running? Fire, I guess? Fire would make sense? Maybe? That makes no sense. Why would you run Hidden Power and not be Ice? What does Gengar need? It doesn't need fire. Why would it need fire? What would it even need fire for? Nothing. It doesn't, like, yeah, you could say it hits Ferro Ferrothorn, but what's a Ferrothorn really going to do? I don't know. I'm going to Shadow Ball the Gengar and Bone Meringue the Blaze again. I don't understand non-Hidden Power Ice Gengar. Uh, that, like, even Hidden Power Water makes sense. Even even Hidden Power Water would make more sense. I don't understand. <laughs> um, I just have to answer a question from text. Okay, so we're going to see a Blissey come in. I don't know if Blissey really wants to take a Bone Meringue that well. Oh, yeah, beautiful. That That's my uh, that's my Blissey counter right there. Um, I love Bone Meringue. Wait, what? Red card! Beautiful. Do I get to choose who I switch into? No. Okay. But I switched into Altaria, and I'm kind of okay with that. I don't know. Just hidden power nothing. I, what was it? Why? I'm going to assume it's hidden power fire, because that, that, that makes at least a sliver of sense. That's, that's really funny. Um, so Aggron's going to come out. It's It can't Mega Evolve. It can't Mega Evolve, so what I'm gonna do... Do I even want to Mega Evolve myself? I oh, know, I'm just gonna Dragon Pulse the Blissey. I'm not Mega Evolving just in case he has Iron Head. Um... Yeah, so he 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 went for the he went for the the Steel type move. So I didn't Mega Evolve for that reason. I don't think I'll need to Mega Evolve um, to kill the Blissey. So, because it's stab anyway, so I'm gonna go for the dragon pulse here. Um, I I, full, I fully expected him to to outspeed me in trick room, and fully expected him to go for a steel type attack. So, pure, pure, pure prediction. Um, so what I am gonna do here though is I am gonna mega evolve protect, and then go for scald onto the aggron. Um, do I even need to do that? No, I'm just gonna go for scald onto the aggron. I'm going to Mega Evolve, and I'm going to go for a Hyper Voice. Actually, yeah, I am going to Protect. Because Trick Room's going to end this turn, right? 
So he's gonna protect with the blaze again and get that speed boost. Um, so I am gonna protect this turn just to make sure that my Altaria survives. Um, cause, you know, two, a Marowak and a, an Altaria versus, oh, he's not protect. Oh no, Trick Room's up, Trick Room's up, Trick Room's up. There's the protect. There's the protect. See, I wasn't gonna protect and just go for Hyper Voice to get some damage off, but I'm just like, eh, you know what? Nah, see, he go, oh, he goes for Heavy Slam onto the Jellison. Okay, well, eh, doesn't matter. That's good. <laughs> that did, that did 11 damage. That's beautiful. Uh, so Scald goes down and it kills the Aggron. Beautiful. Good, and he's gonna speed boost. Now Trick Room should end this turn. No, beautiful. Okay, so we just go for Skull, and we go for Hyper Voice. Hyper Voice should do more damage because it's neutral and very strong. Skull basically takes it out, and Hyper Voice basically takes it out. All right? Yeah, beautiful. Oh, I love those battles where you just clean sweep. I love it. Um, again, Hidden Power Gengar. I don't... I've been coming across a lot of very weird Gengars. Like, very weird Gengars. You know, it seems weird to say that a, a fully offensive Gengar is weird, but it didn't even have Life Orb that one time. And that, that, that doesn't make sense. Um, but whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope to catch you guys at the next episode. Peace.